Well, only 11% of Malawians have access to electricity. In rural areas of the country, only 4% do. That makes it one of the world's least electrified countries. One man has taken matters into his own hands, building a DIY hydroelectric turbine without any professional training to power his village. Senna Silon has the story. When Malawian villager Kolrad Nikosi figured out that a stream gushing past his house had enough force to push the pedals on his bicycle, he decided to create a makeshift dynamo to bring electricity into his house. Without any prior training, he turned an old fridge compressor into a water-powered turbine and put it in a nearby river, generating enough electricity for six households. Today, the village is supplied by a bigger turbine built from the motor of a disused maize sheller. There is the potential to produce enough power for 1,000 households from that single turbine, and I can use the same river to power another turbine downstream. Out of 18 schools in the area, only this one has electricity. The students say Nikosi's innovation has changed their lives. In the past, we had to study by candlelights, and whenever there was no money to buy candles, we could not study. Now that we have access to electricity, many more of us will pass our exams. The users pay no fee for the power, but give Nikosi some money for maintenance. The payments don't completely cover costs, and he makes up the shortfall from his own pocket. He hopes to find a way to raise enough money to expand his project. I wish I could find a sponsor to help me fulfill my plan of going back to school, to further my knowledge and pass on what I've learned to others. In Malawi, only 4% of the rural population is connected to power, compared to 42% in urban centers. Thanks to the innovative thinking of one of their neighbors, these villagers are among the lucky few. Sena Sailan, TRT World.